Good evening, welcome to Wheel of Sports TV. Dick Herman here, Paul Amoli joining me uh, for the girls soccer game. Spruce is on the camera, and as we get started, I'd like to mention some of our fine sponsors, Sun Island Fuel, Congan Coleman Insurance, Don Allen Auto Center, Harbor Fuel, Island Lumber, Island Pharmacy, Kitty Murtaugs, Donnie Flake, Joe Rapacki, The Islander, Seagrill, Boys and Girls, Steamship Authority, Beauty Bar, Jewy Gal. We'll take a break on the ads here and turn it over to Paula. What do we got going on, Paula? Uh, good afternoon, Dick. Great, great to be here on such a beautiful day. We are playing Sturgis East. Sturgis East is coming into this game with a record of 1-2. Nantucket is fresh off a win a couple days ago against Sturgis West, which went on to beat Monomoy. So Nantucket right now has really turned that 500 corner, if you will. They're playing great soccer. I was talking to um, Coach Phil Taylor and he was saying to really keep an eye on Haley Johnson today. She's really brought up her A game. He's got her back in that forward position. As well as Anna Stegman, um, who's a senior and uh, she's just phenomenal on defense. One of the unsung heroes of the team. Yeah, we, we talked about, well, you talked about that last game, how both those young ladies uh, came on strong. So Nantucket's going to need that there. They, they need a uh, league game and you need victories in the league games. I have to agree with you. I think the last time we were together, which was a couple of weeks ago, uh, it was a slow moving game. It really took them as they kind of, typical of years past, it takes them until that second half to get their mojo going, their momentum going on the field, their, um, their sink, if you will. But I think today you're going to see Nantucket coming out that much stronger. They're really feeding off of one another quite well. Communication is key and whatever's being done in practice, uh, they're picking up on it. Yeah, that the game you're talking about, they lost two to one. They they scored a goal at the end to make it close, but it was a game that Nantucket could have won. They they gave up the goal just in the first half there, go, going down one up, and then the second goal really uh, put them in the hole. And then they came alive, much too late to pull it out. I think within two minutes of the game, they they pretty much kind of got their game in action. But I think they were a little bit intimidated by that team, if you recall. Remember they had that girl, uh, she was number 13, but I, I just remember she was a phenom in that midi position. She was really dominating um, gameplay. Um, and I think Phil Taylor's just doing a great job of kind of playing around with people. Haley Johnson, as you recall, Dick, is normally in that midi position or wing position. That game, it was, it was as if he was listening to our conversation. He put her on defense, switched the game around, and today he's putting her back in that front position because he said well, she's just too good to win. We're not going to give out all this knowledge if they're not going to listen. They, 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 better, paycheck, listen. Paycheck. they better listen to us with this knowledge we're I absolutely throwing agree. out to them. we got Paige Albertson between the pipes, um, Haley Johnson. We've got a couple injuries that we want to talk about. We are not going to be seeing Madison Miller playing today, Emerson Milne, Macy Kroll, Juliana Broussard, and Luli Day. Um, a few of those are really key players for this team. A couple of them are on the JV level, but an injury is an injury, and we certainly don't want to see that early on in the season, Dick. No, that, that, uh, that brings the, uh, the numbers down. That means the, if the play is out there, you've got to uh, stay on the field. They're not going to be able to take a break. Right. Nice feed from Waverly Brand again up to Rosha Kelly. rosha has been playing great soccer. I feel as though we didn't really touch base about her last game. But if you recall, this is she's a sophomore now. Last year really was her first year playing soccer at all. And she's really risen to the occasion. So I want to keep an eye on her today. Or she's a junior, excuse me. But last year was her first year on the team. Did, I think she, did she move here? I think so. I think you're right, yes. Well, you missed my birthday today. Yesterday, today. actually. Yesterday. yesterday was your yesterday. birthday. This is, this is how old I'm getting. I'm thinking it's today and it was yesterday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Well, Molly came down and surprised me, and I screamed bloody murder. And uh, I can remember about seven or eight years ago, I was invited to your birthday party. I was on the I was on oh, the, uh, yeah. the special list that the day. The all-woman. The all-woman and me up at the Something Natural. That was fun. <laughs> this year, we went to dinner, which was nice. Uh, it, it was great, but it was it just it was a great day all the way around. And Jim Craig, who I knew from BU days slash Tabor days, Molly was just at his daughter's wedding, the goalie in the oh, Olympics. Wow, I ran into Jim, and I had breakfast with him and Charlene yesterday, so that was really fun. It brought me full circle in time. Was, was he on island, or you were He was on there? island just for the day. Yeah. And I'll be seeing them in Florida, hopefully this winter. But right now we are looking at the clock. Has the clock been fixed by chance? No, I'm, I'm looking up there. We see a bunch of zeros. I don't know. Who, I don't know who we can talk about getting that clock fixed. 
Uh, I guess just look at the hand party and whistle. Hand, hand over my shoulder. Yeah, 90, de 90 degree angle. Josh, when you're talking to the boss, tell them we want that clock fixed. Before next year. <laughs> Wind's pretty strong. Today, the wind, uh, yeah, it surprised me. It surprised me. It's great to have Josh Butler back. I love it when we're seeing coaches and trainers coming, you know, to an off game. Um, to cheer on the Whalers. Speaking of which, how is how's it going with football? I haven't been able football, to get to a game. Football is 0-2, and, two and uh, they, they, they're on the road tomorrow for the first league game. They opened up with two tough games, you know. A month ago, if you said to me, uh, would you be surprised if Nantucket went 0-2 to start, I, I, I would have said no, you know. Mashby really hammered us. Cohasset, uh, they could have won the game. Just a couple of uh, goof-ups, miss-ups. Uh, Officiating, a lot of things went into it, and they lost the game 28-27. So anytime you lose by a point, you always look at it and say, oh, I could have done this, I could have done oh, that. They lost by a point. So they lost by a point, yeah. So that was that was a difficult, difficult loss, yeah. Oh, I hate hearing that. All right, right now, back at play. Right now, it's 0-0. What's that telling you about the game, Dick? How well-matched do you think these players these, are against This, this looks like a well-matched game, you know, uh, and I, I think Nantucket's come out a little bit uh, more offensive than nice. they did uh, last time. Last time they seemed to be sitting back waiting for something to happen. Absolutely today today they look like they're trying to force something to happen. Absolutely. I think they're just coming out with their, they're moving their feet, they're nimble, they're give and take, they're sharing. There's that quiet um, communication on the field. You're right, when we covered them two weeks ago, it was a much slower paced game. They definitely were holding back and were intimidated, but today they're being much more aggressive. That being said, I think you're right on the money. This is a, this is a well-matched game. They're two and two, so this is uh, this will get them over 500, and uh, they're two and two in the league also, and, and this is a league game, so right. you don't want to lose uh, your third league game, especially at home here. So I think uh, I think all the everything's aligned for them to get a nice victory today. They just got to work at it and get it. Right now, Rasha Kelly with the throw, and we get Sydney, Sydney King. I was impressed with her two weeks ago. I think we gave her, I gave her a Tommy point. I liked her style of play. Waverly Brannigan out there. Uh, number 12, Anna Stedman. She's who we were talking about earlier with Coach Phil Taylor. He said she is one of the leaders of this team to watch. Well, Waverly, you mentioned Waverly. She, she got the goal that day, and she has the she ability to, to score each and every game. So look for her to uh, get one in the net today. Right. The question remains: They have to. They just. Oh. <laughs> they just have to, uh, you know, spread out now, their line of play. If you didn't have crutches, Paul, you would have caught that. I can remember the days when you were catching that. But now, I, now you, now you're here. You're hanging out. You got, you got crutches, and I don't you know. know. I, I'm getting tired of the crutches. Well, what was your birthday yesterday? Were you? 39, 39 yesterday. No, is that 38. It? 38. 38. Okay. Here's some, actually my tongue fizz. <laughs> the brainiac, I don't think so. Yesterday asked me how old I was, and she said, I told everybody at my office you were 48. I said, that, that would mean you were born when I was 10. No. This, this was a good math student. She can't do the math now all of a sudden? Um, no, apparently not. You, you didn't teach her correctly. <laughs> How's Miss Molly doing? Miss Molly's great. She's here right now. She started grad school and is doing these 3D projects that, quite frankly, I'm not certain what they are. What they are. But I applaud all the way. I'm is like, she going to come by today and uh, hassle us? I asked us? her to, but she's actually doing homework, believe it or not. All right, back at the action here. Kelly trying to keep it in play down that midfield line. Trying to feed it up to Brannigan. Anna Stedman dropping back. Nice ground kick. Up to Ruby DuPont, number seven. I was impressed with her play last time. Nice deep kick, moving it up, guys. They, they can't lose that formation, Dick, in that front line. They need to know where each other is. Nice hustle. Nice hustle. Sydney King, drop back, and Rennie Waddle, number 43. Nice play. I think they are trying to hitch Co Coach Butler. The coach, yeah, they, he's got a bullseye on him, and they're aiming for him right now. Just when I thought Coach Butler was tall, he was telling me about his cousin in Mississippi who's 6'10". Oh, handball, handball. Oh, I missed that. It. Just a little tap in the hand, but nobody saw it but me, maybe. <laughs> nice deep kick. That's what Sydney King had come to love with her watching her last game. That was a deep, high kick. 
Well done. That's what you want, placement right up in front of the goal. No. They do look like Wait. a different team. Waverly almost could have run under that. Nice but hustle. They just look well conditioned. I don't know if it's me, it's been two weeks, but they just look like they're that much faster and there's more, um, there's more importance in their steps, so to speak, as they meet and greet the ball. Brannigan boys, Inc. Okay. Remember Brannigan, oh, that's a shot. Oh, oh go, go, go. Let's go. Sit again in front of her. That's you. Set it back, set it back, Sydney. Yeah. Keep it in play. Stedman going to break that up. Nice hustle by Anna Stedman. Nice hustle. Well, the goalie looks a little suspect there. That was not a clean save by any means. Yeah, we're going to see Nantucket break this, Barry. They're going to score a couple times, I predict. Um, we really haven't seen Paige challenge just yet, Dick. Nantucket keeps peppering down against this goalie. We want to wear her down, get her tired. And as you say, there's a little bit of wind here, so you want to win the first half because you have the wind, uh, wind, wind in the second half. Now, why is it sometimes we have two refs, sometimes we have one ref? There's, uh, there's always, there's, no, there's always two refs for the uh, for the varsity games. I mean, if there's ever one ref, it's because you know somebody got sick and couldn't get over something. No, there's always two. What they do is they swap sides, so we'll have this. This ref on our side, this. Oh, there it there. is. Oh, 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 oh. Nice shot, Anna. Anna Stedman, just that as we were talking about, that was a beautiful pass, shot. Do it again. That was a decent save that time, but again, she didn't hold on to it clearly. So I think Nantucket can take advantage of that. I think so, too. A little a little feigning, a little movement. Yeah, she, she, she didn't corral it entirely. She was in the right position. She made a good save. Oh, a Stedman would have scored. Nice hustle, nice hustle, nice hustle. Nice hustle. Get it up there, oh, nice hustle by Waverly. Off. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice job by Waverly Brannigan. Great hustle. Yeah. That's what I want to see. That's what we didn't really see that last time until the end of the second half. I thought the uh, Sturgis girl was pushing off Waverly a little bit. No call. Yeah. I was wondering if he was going to call that. Trap it, trap it. Nice job by King, trying to get it up in front. Let's go girls, drop back. Nice hustle by Stedman. Beautiful way to pass it up. Let's go. Ooh, take it away from her. Much more control of the ball today, Dick, than two weeks ago. I felt yeah, as though they were just kind of... They're, they're attacking, they're attacking today, and they're attacking right now. I... And they're attacking with a purpose. They've got a plan of attack. They're moving that ball up. Nice communication. Kelly on the right. Oh, it is a handball. Hand it is ball. a handball. He caught that one. Let's go, Nantucket. All right, here's a, here's a chance right here for the Whalers. Oh, yes. Oh, There's the drop oh, by the goalie. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That goalie has not caught the ball once today. She's dropped every one of them. And that she one there really, almost cost her. You're absolutely, she looks definitely just a little bit tentative there as to, you know, encapsulating that ball. So well, it's, it's, almost like, it's almost like she knew exactly where the ball was going because if she didn't fall out on, on that, and Tucker would have had an open shot at the net. How's um, the Lady Field Hockey team doing? I feel they're like not, I'm out of the loop. They're, they're, not doing, uh, they're not doing well. I think they're... I know they lost two last week. They could be 0-3. They lost two to tough opponents, D.Y. and Barnstable. Ooh, uh, those, are pre those are pretty big schools. Yeah, when yeah. you just say the name D.Y., I and mean, that's Dennis Sharmouth combined and Barnstable Red yeah. Raiders, so I'm anticipating those are both pretty yeah. big high schools. But again, they're, they're in a league now, so when they stop playing, they, uh... Nice, oh, nice. What a breakaway there it is, there it, is. Here it comes, here it comes. Pump it out, pump it out. Oh, that is brilliant. Number three had a nice speed there. Boy, we couldn't get away from her. She just motored Brannigan. Her upper body was in momentum. I love that. And Haley Johnson was right there in that midi position in front of the goal, ready for that shot. Well done. 
I like what I see today, Dick. This is exciting today. Girls are playing well right now, but they gotta sure. they gotta break through. And what's going on in the boys' side? We haven't even covered a boys' game yet. No, Gina wants to cover a boys' game. They were next, home. Next week we can. They were home last week, but I was away, so Gina didn't schedule a game. And but now they're they're away for the next two weeks. Their next home game's not till October third. So were you sort in the of, sort of pens I went to Carolina. Yeah. I went down to Raleigh uh, uh, a week ago uh, Wednesday. Did you not notice no, that no, a hurricane no. was coming in? Air Come on, Waverly Brannigan. Cross it over. Kelly's up there. Cross, cross, cross. Oh my God, what control. Oh. Nice job, nice job. But I, I got down here on Wednesday. Uh, the storm uh, was forecast to come in Friday. It did. Nice. But uh, Raleigh, didn't get, Raleigh didn't get anything, you know. Nothing yeah. like that you're hearing in the news. Oh, Ruby du DuPont, brilliant play. Nice hustle. And she's got my number seven, Phil Esposito. Phil Esposito. She plays well. I like watching her, and I said that last time. Corner kick. Let's go, Ruby. Line this up. Get some blue jerseys in there. Nice. Nice kick. Oh, wow. Now nice that time kick. the goalie that had That was a good. That was a good... Good catch that time. That's the first one she's caught clean today. Interesting how she's coming pretty far out to do her kicks out of the goal, Dick. I don't know about that. That would make me a little nervous. She looks a little new there. Well, my daughter was in the Carolinas for a wedding and was probably within 20 yards of a, of a bear, a black <laughs> bear. She thought it was a, um, it was after a rehearsal party at a wedding. She thought it was a lab doodle because oh. it was down at first with its head in a trash barrel. How much, uh, how much champagne did they have at the rehearsal? Uh, she didn't elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll show you the video. There's absolutely no way when, when it stood up. So she actually filmed it very calmly, and her boyfriend went and hid. I don't know what that says about him, but he left her to handle how it. Much, how much uh, alcohol did he consume? Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough because my daughter stood and filmed it. He took off, but uh, I told her she needs to rethink that relationship. She's not sitting well with me, but yeah. So it was, it was, it was a bear. I guess you obviously you're supposed to stay calm and not move, but I, to to film it as close as she did. To one of the worst things that they say you can do is run because then the bear right. the bear sees you and thinks you prey. Well, so her he boyfriend starts running didn't get that memo, but she did. <laughs> So, you know, stay calm, walk away slowly. You and, know, and videotape. <laughs> and videotape. <laughs> I'll show it to you at halftime. <laughs> I saw it online. It was one of those call your mother. <laughs> Portion of this first half brought to us by Don Allen uh, Auto Center. New and used vehicles on sale at Don Allen. Nice, crisp, clean oh, kick by right. DuPont all the way up. I love that. Weber with the ball, number five. I loved her last week. We saw two weeks ago, Sonika Weber. She's got fast legs and lean. Nice hustle. I bet we're going to see Shanika playing basketball this winter, Dick. I don't nice. remember her from last year. I don't either. remember her, but uh, she looks like she uh, has the ability to play basketball. She looks like a great athlete. Welcome addition. We'll take it. I'm going to say Sturgis is going to implode second half. They don't look as well trained, if you will, in the. They, they, they're looking tired to yeah, me already. I don't, I'm, I don't see a big bench over there. Remember the uh, the first game we did, the uh, the coach uh, was bringing in three or four girls almost uh, on a steady basis. Right, so there's has, a continuous he, changing of the guards, but uh, here their, their bench is not deep. Very, very few substitutes so far by either team. And as you mentioned, all those kids injured for Nantucket. Nantucket's got a, a small bench today, too. Now, how does it go here, refresh my memory, with, with JV? JV's coached by Rafael Osona. Is he coaching the girls, I, JV? I'm, I'm going to say yes, and yes, we're not same question last time. I know. You didn't uh, do your homework. I didn't do my homework. I admit. And the thing that I always get confused with, and now that I'm a year older, it's even worse. Can a JV athlete play on a varsity game? What, what is that thing with the, the principal? There's the MIW. Oh, you can get you can be, you can get brought back and forth 
from JV to Va Varsity. Nice. Let's go, Anna. You can't play. You can't play in both games because the JVs are over there playing right now and the Varsity's playing here. Well, maybe what I'm thinking of is eighth grade then. Eighth, eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade uh, can play, yeah. Can play varsity. Right. Wow. But most of the time they, they just keep them on the uh, JV team. Or sometimes the, uh, the middle school has a team of its own on the Wasn't there a rule though at one school. time they had to be under the same principal? They had to be principal? under the same principal, right. Do you still follow the MIAA rules, Dick? Or? I, I, I read the articles when they're in the paper. I don't, yeah. I don't go out of my way to find out. Right. You know, every once in a while, they, I read the Boston Globe on a regular basis, and the, and the Globe will say, uh, the MIA had a meeting and went over the new rules, so I'll read the article and they'll like, right. and say what has changed. It. And it's not everything. Nice, deep kick by number three. I mean, the best one to talk to would be the head coaches, because they would tell you yeah, the I'm rule curious. changes that would be definitely affecting the team, you know, that the, they have to learn. Caitlin Belanger, number three, playing that corner beautifully. You know, Paige really has not been challenged here, Dick, and I'm going to say we're, we've got to be at least halfway through this first we're half. We're about halfway through. According to, how much time left in the first half? 19. You are we right on. You're what? right on, wow. right on, Paul. You missed it by a minute. Uh, <laughs> I'll do better next time. I'll do better. What do we think about? Oh. First chance by uh, Sturgis. Nice drop. Belanger. Keeping that away, nice job. Notice she didn't cross that in front of the goal. She kept it away from the goal. It's like my big pet peeve when, when I watch soccer players at this level. Nice hustle. So did you, uh, did you meet, you, did nice you meet uh, Lance uh, Armstrong last you know week what? biking around town? I, I'm going to be honest, and I was talking to Sprucer. I, I, I didn't go and hear him speak, and I, I had very mixed emotions about him coming. Yeah. You know, seven times a Tour de France, the doping allegations. I get it, redemption, forgiveness, we've all made mistakes, so on and so forth, but I wasn't feeling it. Brad yeah. Stevens, I wanted to hear him speak. That's a story. Butler University, I covered him with, he was with Match, March Madness, Final Four, not once but twice, 34 years old. That's great role modeling for the kids. Yeah. Lance Armstrong, we've been there, yeah, done that, heard that story. It's not, uh, yeah, yeah. He, lost, he lost a lot. A lot of credibility. Oh, oh, and that was a goal that just shocked the life out of me. Yeah. I just went on my bad leg. Wow. Holy cow. What a beautiful... Let's go, Haley. Turn it up. Turn it up. Let's go, Haley. What a deep kick drop into the top of the corner of the net there, Dick. That was beautiful. But unpredicted. I didn't see that coming. He said 22-29. He's not you who got it. I don't even think he can give an assist on that. That was just, that was pure athleticism, yeah, what a kick. Well, you see, the wind, the wind played it. It just, it just came in on that angle and... Uh, You're absolutely right. It just kept staying just, up there, up there, up stayed, there. Up it stayed there, up, up there. high. It never came down for the, uh, to make a play on it. So that's what happens. That's what happens now. And Nantucket's really got to step it up now because they had outplayed him for the, the first... 20 minutes, I, and then yeah. one, one time down, they score. I'm in a little bit of shock right now. I did not anticipate that coming, nor had I seen that player pull off that kind of a kick earlier. That was an unforeseen and just kind of caught me off guard. But, you know, you got to give credit where credit's due. That was a beautiful goal by Sturgis East with about 15 minutes in the game. Sturgis East is up one to nothing. That goal was brought to us by Santos Rubbish Remover, commercial residential services. Since it's rubbish removal, we clean up the island, go whalers. Boy, that's giving new infusion to Sturgis East. I'm watching number seven. She just trapped the ball beautifully for them. Yeah, that's going to give them a lot. So Nantucket's going to take that fight right away from them because, they, they, as we said, they had it for the whole uh, 20 minutes and then boom, one time downfield, Sturgis scores. Yeah, they were so fluid and symbiotic there. I thought, no doubt about it, they're going to score. And now they just got to regroup and just pretend that didn't happen. And uh, if they are acknowledging it, use it to get a little fire and fury in their belly and uh, get the job done. And I, I'm still confident Nantucket can come back, Dick. 
yeah, now you want now you want to come back and get it tied as quick as possible because you know you know you need two goals to get the win. We've got and, Haley uh, John. Oh, I'm sorry. And that's that's some, that's what you got to be thinking. But you got to get the first one to get it tied. It should be a bump. I like that. That's a little mantra. You got to have the first one to get it tied. Speaking of which, did you dig out your other homework? Was to dig out your page stickers. And you did. I did. I didn't. I did. You are good for something. I'm glad Molly's home doing her homework. That's Ma right. Miss Molly, could you do my homework and find out who the JV coach is and where my page sticker went? <laughs> she bought me my new sneakers. They look cool. They are cool. I said to her, wait, they don't tie. She said, Mom, that's the look. That's I was like, oh, I knew that. I knew that. Do you guys like my cool, sneakers? Mom. Cool mom slippers. They love them too, the Brannigans. Thumbs up. <laughs> Nothing. Brannigans Inc. Which Brannigans do we have here today? Brannigan, Brannigan, Brannigan. <laughs> wow. Most of them are over there. Most of the, the Brannigan family's over there? Who's the oldest here? They're all, pot, they're all pottying up on the hill there, right? Yeah. Your first name? Oh, that's right. How old are you, Reagan? Seven, eight. Eight no, and two, eight and two eights. I'm cool. You're gonna be eight in two days. Yeah. Happy birthday! I just had my birthday yesterday too. I hope people give you a wonderful birthday. Are you eight too? My birthday is this Wednesday. Did Mr. Herman call and send a gift over? No. 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 I'll tell. Me him. neither. I'll tell him Me, I neither. Him. Me neither. <laughs> mine was mine was yesterday. So we're all September babies. Happy birthday. All right, back, back at the action here with about 10 minutes left in the first half. Girl that pulled off that beautiful kick early with a throw in. Nice job up to Sneaka Weber, number five. Nice drop back. Lauren Dupree, nice job. Waverly Brannigan on the field. I'm looking for Haley Johnson to make some movements here, Dick. Ruby DuPont, same, number seven. Yeah, Nantucket's got to force the issue here now and uh, get the play back in their favor and get some shots on this goal. Is she? Uh, There's the girl with that kick, number 21. Looks shaky enough wow. that Nantucket can get some by her. This woman is like Rolf Bernersker with her kick. Yeah, she, uh, she's got a, she got a nice high arc when she gets it going, yeah. Speaking of, speaking of the Patriots, what happened? One of those Jacksonville. days. Jacksonville's a good team. Yeah, they are. And the problem is that we're going to meet them in the playoffs, the way it's looking. But you'd like to uh, play them at Foxborough, and the only way you're going to play them at Foxborough is, you know, you got to get a game ahead of them because they have the tiebreaker in their favor now, beating us. That was a tough loss. That was a tough loss. They they just look flat. And isn't Gronk is he injured? Did I hear that uh, today? He, he was limited in practice yesterday, Let's go, Ruby. which was kind of strange because he started out the practice all right. Shot. Do it again. Oh, oh nice. Let's go, Do it again. Put it right on. Us. That's what I want. That feed from Dupont keep, to Brannigan. Nice keep, job. Keep firing it right at her. Absolutely. Remember the days when we used to be on that side of the field and right. the warm sun? The warm what, sun. Who, who switched this? Gino. Gino. He, he didn't want the sun in the camera. Bob Lundy didn't mind. Of course, it'd be nice if we have those Gino 99 jackets, he's, Gino he's, 99 blankets. He's up, he's up in Maine right now. He's, he said he's going to be searching out uh, some of the uh, Stores up there, see if they have a deal going. He'll get us some. If I see one more video of his house in the, <laughs> I could recite the tile in every bathroom. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! You know, she's coming alive, that goalie dick. Yeah, she's getting better. She's getting her confidence up, that's for sure. Now, is Nantucket football, are they home this weekend? They're or? away. They're up nice at Holbrook job. tomorrow. That's, uh, that's a league game, that's a winnable game, so let's hope the Wills can get their first victory. Let's hope so. Boys soccer's on the road today, and they're undefeated, so what else is new with the boys soccer? Nice hustle by Haley Johnson. 
Now, it's interesting, he's got Haley Johnson back there. I thought he was going to put her up in that forward position because he was talking about how effective she is up there. So let's see if maybe Dickie switches maybe, maybe for a second switching, half. Maybe switching back and forth. About 10 minutes left here in the first half. Holbrook, we used to go against Holbrook in gymnastics, and then their program folded like so many others. So is that league or non-league? That's a league game That's right a... now. It'll be the last uh, last year we'll be playing a Holbrook because it's the, the Mayflower Small ne be. next year in Nantucket. Nice job. It's supposed to be in the uh, Cape and Islands League. Right. Let's go, Ruby. Let's go, Sydney. Nice job. I think it's the first time I've actually heard their coach even have have a comment. He's been very quiet over there, Dick. Yeah. Let's go, Nantucket. Regroup. I didn't know who he. I, I, wasn't I didn't sure know who, who he was. was. He, it doesn't look like the uh, typical coach. You know? No. Sturgis East and West. Fill me in. They are where? Do we know? One of them is right on Main Street. That's the original one. Which was a charter school, correct? It's both of them are charter okay. schools. And the original one, right on Main Street, is uh, one of the top schools, uh, top 100 schools, ranks. Really? As far as education goes, yeah. You, Interesting. They get a good whoa, education whoa, whoa, whoa. there. And then about two years ago, they, uh, oh, cool. they came up with the, the second Sturgis. And that's out on uh, out near the Rotary there, at the end of Main Street. So. Huh, interesting. All right, a timeout on the field. I'd like to mention the rest of our fine sponsors bringing you this game. The Nantucket called that timeout. Rick's Paint and Maintenance, JB Drywall, Expresso to Go, Fast Forward, Nantucket Seafood, Ride Electric, Outdoor Power, Billy Built Automotive, Cottage and Castle, Nantucket uh, Electrical Contractors, Killen Real Estate, Martin Bork Painting, Cowboys Meat Market, Santa's Rubbish Removal, Susi Bayoshi, Randy Alford Heating and Cooling, Island Fencing, Valero and Sons, Island Carpet, Fawcett Man Plumbing and Heating, Nantucket Estate Jewelry, Ride the Wave, NRTA, The Boathouse, Fairgrounds Restaurant, Pumpkin Pond Farm, Something Natural, Highland Flooring, Champion Rentals, Island Variety, Sherbin Management, The Homestead, Nantucket Health Club, UPS Store, Just Do It Two Sport Fishing, Island Kitchen, Artistic Tile Install, Keepers Restaurant, Glidden's Island Seafood, Nantucket Folk Art and Wood Carving, Nantucket Architect Group, Hatch's Package Store, Dan's Pharmacy, Murray's Toggery, Grey Lady Property Management, Geronimo's Dirty Paws and Dog Wash, the Corner Table, and Holgate's Laundry. We thank all these fine sponsors for bringing you portions of this game here. So, and I could call the time out, Coach Taylor, what, uh, what message do you think he wanted to get to his uh, young ladies? I think he was just recognizing that they were kind of falling off that pattern that they had of being aggressive in forward momentum, and he's looking for them to regroup and communicate. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not hearing any verbal cues like man on or, um, you know, trap, there, there's no communication. I think they want to get that going back again, Dick. Right. They want, also want to go to maybe a ground ball. Um, maybe, you know, maybe even the air. They're just going to mix up what they're doing. They just to fall a little bit flat, and they cannot get off of their game. You know, they're covering Brannigan. They're co covering Kelly, Ruby Dupont, Haley Johnson. They're recognizing quickly this team is learning who, who, who is uh, running, the, running the field, so to speak, and they're doing a really good job of covering them. So Nantucket's got to uh, look for the open lady. There has to be somebody open if everyone's being covered. Somebody should break free because, you know, the potential double team, as soon as you double team, somebody else opens up. And you don't want the ball controlling the game, which sometimes Nantucket falls prey to. You want to make sure you have somebody up at that goal, ready, willing, and able to drop it in at all times. They tend to travel in packs and they you know, they're following the ball, and, you know, it's great to get the accolades that you scored the goal, but you really just want to be setting it up behind the scenes, and um, they're a well-coached team. Nice drop back to Johnson. Nice job, Evelyn Fye, number 27, crossing it over to Weber. Nice, nice job. Nice move there. Nice move. I like what I'm saying. Well, Caitlin Belanger, number three, she's fast and pure. She just will not give up. Nice job. Yeah. 
Now that's kind of become her job, I think, Dick. She's the marker of this. She's controlling that back line. Evelyn Fives on the field. Her sister uh, went to Tabor, where my girls went. She was a standout hockey player and I believe is playing at BC now. Dick. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, tremendously talented. The, the, all the Fives are, um, all four of them play hockey. Yeah, it's exciting when somebody local, you know, not only goes on to college, but winds up playing a, uh, a varsity sport in college. Yeah, I don't know how Jackie keeps them straight. She teaches all day, full time. <laughs> Four kids are all doing sports. Remember those days? I remember those days, but you know, the, the, the beauty of them doing sports is you sort of know where they are. You Absolutely. Know? <laughs> as Absolutely. Appo as opposed to leaving school at three o'clock and having two or three hours to do nothing before you go home for dinner. Absolutely. Well, you know, how does that work with the, with the fields and the rotation when the kids get out of school here at 2:20? They've done a lot. They've done a lot of changing in that aspect. Yeah. Uh, and some of the teams set up, you know, the weight room after school. Nice. Or the, the study hall after school. So. Great. You know, even though practice might not start say to four o'clock. Uh, that, that doesn't mean they can uh, run down to the strip and buy themselves uh, a, a coffee and, and a slice of pizza and right. disappear. So I so like that. That's great. So, so they, they have the library open? Is that what you're saying? The library's school? open for, for, you know, the study hall, the, the weight room will be open and so forth and so on. Nice job. Well done, Nantucket. Sonika Weber staying on it. I like it. Nice job by Belanger. Girls, forgive me for, by calling you by your last name, but it gives you a little bit more ferociousness there, Dick, right? <laughs> right. We don't want to be taken as easy marks. Comment by Coach Til Phil Taylor telling him not to get boxed in. Belanger up to Brannigan. Sub coming in for Sturgis East. That was your sister, right? Yeah. So what do you guys want for your birthday from Mr. Herman? Anything? I don't know. You don't know? Minecraft? Do you guys like Legos? <laughs> you like Legos? <laughs> he does Auntie, Auntie Paula, Auntie Paula will do, do it, get him for you. <laughs> oh, now that I open the big can of worms. You know, I actually yes, did send a little boy a Minecraft gift the other day because the person to be identified had posted. <laughs> Only one kid came to her son's birthday party. So there was this big kind of, not big, but a little bit of swell support. And people got together and got the little boy gifts. I don't understand that when a little boy or any child has a party and the kids don't show up. That, that's, that's hurtful. Not, that's not that's nice. Not nice. No. That's not nice. Out on Belanger. We must be winding down towards this first half, Dick. I have about uh, six minutes. We'll check out our friendly... Uh, a fish when he goes by us next. Nice hustle by Ruby right on that line. Nice job. White throw in. I think it's going to be careful here. They do not want to go down 2 0 and they want to get the momentum back in their favor. I think the only positive thing at the moment is, is number 21 is not in that back position there. So the wind is knocking down the Nantucket ball, so they're going to get the wind in the second half. So it's very, very important they don't let uh, Sturgis score another one here. Right now would be a benefit just getting out of this half down the one. Because the wind definitely helped, and basically they were only shot on net in the first half by Sturgis. Unbelievable. And that just held up there in the air, held up there. Nice hustle by Evelyn Fye. Way to hustle. Nice job, Evelyn. Portion is first half brought to us by Billy Built Automotive, Bill Trot owner, servicing all your automotive needs out of 23 Tomahawk Road. Nice hustle by Ruby. Nice drop. Let's go, Sonika. He blew the whistle. Oh, I thought he was doing it because of the pushing. Apparently not. He missed that. We have. According to my unofficial time, we have about two minutes left here, so Nantucket can get uh, a little offense going. 
boy. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh. We'll call the offside. Oh. Tough, tough, tough. Offsides. But you know what I liked about her wherewithal on the field was King set that up, dropped to DuPont. She lost it for a nanosecond. Sturgisies tried to take it over, but she still had the wherewithal to get the ball back. Well done. Not a time when we want an offside call, though, Dick, right? No, Is that, that, uh, that was a beautiful setup. And, uh, nice hustle. Just a little bit offside. Wow, that girl's got that kick. That is just incredible. I want to see her kicking into the wind next time. We'll find out. Something to uh, Paige Alverson, the beautiful kick out of the goal. Paige has got to be frustrated over that one goal right now. It's a... Yeah, it's almost a fluke type goal too. Absolutely. Kelly on the move, trying not to keep it keep it in play. Oh wow. Stedman collided with number seven who just went down. Did you see that? Yeah. She went down hard. Probably just knocked the wind out of her. Okay, that's so cheap. The official is telling the trainer not to go over there. That's the I'm strangest surprised. call I ever heard of. She she <laughs> went she went down on her side, shoulder and then head. I you could feel that from here. I don't believe that. I'm very surprised by that call. <laughs> I can't believe they wouldn't let the wouldn't athletic let the trainer, trainer go over the tra there. Yeah, I was surprised they all didn't drop to a knee on that. And let him. So she's getting substituted for us. So at least the athletic trainer will get to take a look at her over here. But I, I think that's the strangest thing I ever saw. A girl is yeah. down. You have an athletic trainer, which a lot of schools don't have. And you're halfway across the field, and the official tells her to go, tells them to go back to the bench. Yeah, I'm assuming that's going to take a look at what's going on with her. Day and age and concussion, go! I don't, know, I don't know how much stoppage time we have left, but I, I got it down to about the last minute here. So Here's what we have to stop is number 21 in Sturgisies. That girl is running the show. This could be the last chance here before the half. I think that girl's okay. Let's see. Let's nice dropped by Dupont Weber. Yes. Oh, oh wow. She got her foot on it. Just couldn't get any power on it. Wow. She had any power on that. We had a goal. She that just dribbled incredible. it. She just dribbled it, and it uh, gave the goalie enough time to reach it before it crossed over the line. So a tough break there for the Wheelers. Dupont could not have lined that up any more brilliantly. That was beautiful, spot on, right in front of the goal. You're right, Dick. Weber just needed a little bit more. She was probably shocked it came as well in as it did. Yeah, she got a foot on it, but she did not have a, uh, enough angle to give it a kick. It, it just came off her foot and rolled towards the uh, open net. Wow. As we're winding down in the first half, there's Dean Geddes. I was wondering where he was. He's over Dean on the Dean the Dream. Side. He's doing the writing over there, yeah? Between the dream. <laughs> 20 seconds here, so. I have funny stories from driving off island to soccer events with Dean and, and the rented Dodge Camaro that <laughs> they gave us with like the V8 engine <laughs> last year. And of course we got lost. <laughs> Uh-oh, only 10 seconds. Don't give up a goal here. There it is. So we have played one half here and uh, and Tuckett's on the short end of a one to nothing score. We'll take a uh, break and come back with second half action.